Welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. The prophecy. Do we really have to destroy Count Black to stop it from happening? I believe so. Much of the dark prophecy has already come to pass, but stop it we must. It was by Count Black's hand that the Chaos Heart was summoned, bringing this peril. Without him, the prophecy's power will wither, and all worlds can avoid their ends. Yes, uh, I suppose you're right, but I guess we know we knew that already, didn't we? Yeah, so thanks for telling us, big fat fucking retard. But that's okay, because you do have a quite glorious beard. I can forgive you this time. It was nothing. I'm fine, let's go! Very well, then. Once again, your first task is to set this pure heart in the heart pillar. Once you've done that, you must head back to the black tower and flip side. And flop side! Flop side, not flip. Wow. My headphones keep getting unplugged. Awesome. Alright, so, this point in the game, uh, pretty much, uh, you can pretty much free roam, uh, flip side and flop side, whatever, whatever side you really want, um, I am going to get the pure, I'm gonna try to get to the heart pillar in this episode, and I don't wanna talk to you, you armless bastard, uh, right now I'm actually gonna try, um, to unlock the door to the pit of a hundred trials, uh, and get something else that's pretty valuable. It's a power plus. It's permanent. There's no BP or uh, yeah, there's no BP required because there's no bat. Oh my god, stop talking to me. If you don't have arms, you don't have a right to talk to me. That's my that's my motto. Besides if if at first it doesn't work, use brute force. That's my first motto. But my second motto is if you don't have arms, you're not worthy of talking to me. I'm sorry. I don't care how many amputees there are in flip side or flop side. I'm not talking to you if you don't have arms. It's just it's just not gonna happen. So if you go down here, ugh, save. This is save block, and this that means that this right here, that's a bit of a hundred trials. That's the sign that tells you it's here. That's the switch that unlocks the door. Um, and I believe you cannot access uh. Flop sides pit of 100 trials until you beat flip sides. I'm pretty sure, but more valuable than the pit of 100 trials is uh, this place right here. Um, if you flip, you can reveal a hidden area. Um, there's some stuff to do here. Uh, there, I know there's some. Well, fuck you, first of all. I know there's some hidden blocks and stuff, but there's got to be something else. Maybe, maybe it's in the flop side pit of 100. Uh, yeah, it's probably in the flop side area or something. Uh, Alright, so here we are back in flop side. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing that I just did, except uh, everything's gonna be flipped over, basically. The screen's gonna be reversed, because we're in flop side. Uh, so, if you go down, uh, you'll find the exact same thing, except it'll be the flop side pit of 100 trials, which is essentially the same thing as the flip side one. Except you have to do it twice, and every single monster is a shadow monster, which pretty much just means that they're even stronger, and I think they have more health and stuff. So it's just annoying. It's that the whole flop side pit of hundred trials is just dumb. I really won't, don't want to do it, <clears throat> but I kind of somewhat feel like doing it. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I've been playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door a lot more, and I'm, I'm gonna end up doing the Pit of 100 Trials in that soon, and that's kinda got me pumped for the Pit of 100 Trials in this. I don't really know. But I do know that here is what we're really after. Behind the pipe on, in flip side, there were just a bunch of blocks, but here, in flop side, we have treasure chests behind our pipes. And this one contains a power plus which is an item, not a badge, but it's permanent. So it's gonna raise all of our attacks by one permanently. So see, I don't know if you knew how if you knew how much attack power I had before, but it was six and twelve before, but now it's seven and fourteen. Because Bowser's attack power is double. Because he's just burly. Such a burly man. Uh let's see. What's over here? Oh, you know what? Yeah. Uh yeah. Use these to get up to that door, which I hope we don't have to do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to the top of, or no, wait, no, I'm not, hold on. Welcome back, uh, I apologize. There was a ring at the phone, and rings at the phones are uh, 
pretty important when I'm the only one around. So, anyway, we got that little power up, uh, but there's one thing I wanted to show you that I didn't show you in flip side, but it is also in flip side. If you flip over here next to the elevator, you can go behind here and there's this, uh, this burly, well he's not that burly, he just has a mustache, which is pretty cool. And if you pay him some money, how much money did I just pay? I guess 100 coins or so. But if you do so, he will turn into a drill and make you a pipe. It'll uh, conveniently take you all the way back up to, ugh, excuse me, the top of flip side, or flop side in this case. And there's one uh, in the exact same spot except uh, flipped over in flip side. So you might want to invest in that one too. But for 100 coins, you could save some serious money if you just walk. So whatever, whatever uh, works for you, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I'm not playing for you, so I don't care what you do. I don't care if you never play this game. Um, ha! But we're gonna go over to here. Uh, I believe I showed this part off accidentally before because I thought there was a heart pillar over here. But it turns out we have to get that in this chapter. Because, oh wow. Wow! I press one and then my finger shifts over to two and I just fall off. That's awesome. But now the heart pillar has just mysteriously appeared over here because we haven't gotten anything new in this uh, in this chapter except recovering our old friends. Uh, Miyamoto ran out of ideas. And I keep blaming Miyamoto for all this, but I don't even know how much of this game he actually uh, was behind. I don't know. It's just fun to blame things on Miyamoto. Oh, and remember, every time you troll, Miyamoto delays Twilight Princess. Or at least that worked before Twilight Princess was released. But, uh... Yeah, I definitely saw a raffle poster a couple years ago that said that, and it was amazing. Um, but I guess now it should be every time you troll, Miyamoto delays Skyward Sword, even though he hasn't delayed it yet, so I don't know if that really works. But it's it still works with Twilight Princess. I don't even care if that game's released, it still works. And this is Nalrum, or whatever that, whatever his name is. It's retarded, whatever it is. But, um... I think I walked past it. Uh, we're getting ready for the final battle. How prepared am I? I have two Ultra Shroom Shakes. And a, I just have a plethora, a plethora of recovery items. So, I think I'm going to be perfectly fine. Um, but the thing is, I haven't been doing too good lately. I don't know if you've been noticing, but I haven't been playing too well lately. I don't know. Uh, I'm not too good in general. Like, when I'm recording, I'm pretty good when I'm not recording. But when I'm recording, I'm just not as good for some reason. It's probably because I'm doing, I'm recording my voice as I'm playing. And in real life, I'm not a very talkative person. So trying to keep a conversation with myself going while playing, rather trying to play skillfully is a little tricky. But I'm still fairly new at LPing. I've only been around for like five months maybe I don't I don't really remember let's see uh, end of February to the end of March end of April end of May end of June it's almost the end of July so about five months yeah a little less so yeah I mean and I know I was pretty awful when I started well not necessarily awful just kind of my voice was very like uh, yeah, and we're gonna go here and uh, Ooh, check me out in this episode. I'm eating an ice cream cone. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm still giving you warm greetings. Go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah now I'd be like, yeah, get the f*** out of here. See, I, I'm a little more energetic now. Uh, my voice is still... But that's... Uh, my voice is still a little... Uh, I don't know. If you're watching this, I'm sure you don't really have a problem with my voice. Uh, if you're 50 episodes... 50-something episodes into this LP... But I, I'm just skipping over this dialogue as I just talk about my commentary, my commenta commentary, commentary. Uh, but th that's just how my voice is. My voice is v very, uh, it, it doesn't really change that much. It, it gets a little sarcastic, but that's about it. And there's this voice for my female characters, that's about it. The stakes were high as the ominous void grew larger, and the end drew near. I could also do that. Could Mario and his friends stave off the inevitable and ne- That was awful. <coughs> what strange twist of fate awaited Tippy and Count Black? These thoughts plagued the minds of our heroes as the curtain rose on the final act. 
Chapter 8-1. The Impending Darkness. And we will begin our final journey. Will we? No, no, I don't think we're too far into this, are we? I don't know. See you next time.